Good morning, folks. So we start off with a couple of articles out of the Tehran Times. This is just a quick reminder that it helps to look at news from all over the world, not just Iran, but Israel as well. There is nothing wrong with learning what they are saying, with what everyone is saying, including the Chinese. If you'd only read one article that I post today, read this one. It'd be great if the U.S. could get 7.5%, but that's a hit for Chinese economy, and the U.S. futures are falling on it, actually. We have another volcano on watch. This one is on the Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia. We had some fairly large earthquakes uh, off the coast of the United States. We had a 4.4 off the coast of Oregon and a 4.1 in Northern California. Not big enough to make you jump out of your seat, however they are above average for this part of the world. Also above average in terms of quakes, we usually see a somewhat of a earthquake swarm in the Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico, but we don't usually see a 4.4 quake. Coming to the other side of the world, we had some quakes in New Zealand, a four-pointer and some smaller ones a bit uh, south of that. We also have a, an interesting situation going on in Antarctica where foreign seeds from up north are coming and invading the land. What you're looking at here was the coronal mass ejection from a couple of days ago. You might remember this is the forecast track that shows it completely missing to one side. I think it's pretty easy to see that there is ejecta coming out of all sides and when there's ejecta coming out of all sides there's some coming right at you behind the disc. So that is the second coronal mass ejection that is on the way. The first one should be hitting any minute now. The sun doesn't show any signs of slowing down whatsoever. We had a bunch of M flares you can probably expect that to continue. Now have a look at how much this big sunspot morphs, and this is the last 48 hours. This is pretty serious, folks. Uh, it is definitely uh, dangerous, and the Earth footprint is right over top of it. That's not what we like to see. Now that big uh, sunspot is labeled Beta Delta. Now you might be wondering, where did the Gamma go? Well, the Gamma uh, is a classification that says well you can't really draw a line in between the polarities but you can see here this is last night look you can draw this line directly between the blue and the red and it's very very clear now this is what it looks like this morning that is no longer the case and I'm going to have to say this is back to beta gamma delta and just as dangerous as it was when it put off the X and M flares so that's the news folks we do have the earth footprint on top of that mega region up on the top left we're still waiting for major events from the coronal hole stream although it does appear that that might miss us. We don't have a whole lot of uh, magnetic filaments writhing on the sun, but these active regions are certainly giving us a whole lot to worry about. Let's keep our eyes on the sun, folks, and the quake watch is going to come back up here in a few days along with a magnetic storm watch and a solar radiation storm watch. Be safe, everyone.